Hey guys, welcome back uh, in another episode of very quick uh, meals cooked by kids uh, for grown-ups as well because Yuv is cooking, he's going to come here and I'm going to take over the camera and he's making lovely delicious chicken goujons or what do you call them, chicken tenders, um, chicken strips, whatever you want to call them and they are super simple and very, very delicious. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm gonna have mine with some ketchup and mayo. So let's get cooking. And just wanna say, don't forget to subscribe and uh, you can just uh, show some love uh, to you in this video and leave us a comment and let us know what you thought of the recipe. So we've got three bowls here and the first bowl will have plain flour yeah, I think you could just finish that, yeah. Nine years, a bit more. And then you need to flavor that. So we need some salt and black pepper in it. That's it. So just a good sprinkling of salt. And then a good sprinkling of black pepper. And then just give it a mix. So that's the flour ready. We can move on to the egg. Can you do the one hand break? Like break the egg with one hand. No? Right, then whisk. Just add a little bit of salt as well. A bit of salt and a bit of pepper. And then the third one is just empty some bread, uh, breadcrumbs. That's it. Um, so I want this slightly bit more flavored. So we're using some chili garlic sauce to flavor the egg. Yeah, and that's going to make it really lovely. And add gorgeous flavor and then just mix this. So you can buy uh, chicken breasts and cut them into strips, but just because um, you was cooking, I bought a pack of ready chopped up uh, chicken breasts. Um, so uh, if you pick up, no, use your right hand. Yeah, sorry, left hand. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you put that in there, roll it nicely in the flour, then more, a bit more, yeah nicely cover it get rid of excess yeah put that in the egg and use the fork use the fork no no not your dry hand drop it in then use the fork to turn it over use two forks to turn them over yes then you throw it into take it out just get rid of excess egg and then do roll them in the breadcrumb and no 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 use another fork yep that's it and now we're gonna do the whole thing um, and then put it on the plate gonna do repeat it with all of these so there they are all done and now uh, we can take it over there to cook. So nice hot pan and we can use some olive oil to, no this one, olive oil um, to cook. And once this is hot in goes the chicken pieces. Put them in the oil. Don't put them here. Yeah. That's it. Do it like closely so then the oil won't splash on you. That's the one. So we're just going to cook this for around uh, three, four minutes and then two, three minutes and then turn them over. So it's been three minutes and just going to cook for another 
two to three minutes on the other side. Oh, lovely. And just to check that they are cooked, just take one of the fatter ones and then just slice it open in case you're not sure to see that it's all cooked inside, which it is. It shouldn't be pink. And yeah? Yeah. So it's not pink. So yeah, it's done. So you get them on out on the plate. So here they are, ready, delicious. There's another round cooking for me, and this is you. That's so good. Are they? Really good? Yeah. So you're going to make this often then? Winner, winner, chicken dinner? Chicken dinner, winner, winner? Obviously, it's super simple to make, but that chili garlic sauce in, in the midst of it all makes such a big difference. It actually makes a huge difference. So I do hope you're going to give this a go. And, and I'll see you back very soon with another new recipe. Please let us know, are you enjoying this series? And is there anything you would like to for us to make as a new to make? Then let us know in the comments below. Mm. Did you turn them over? Mm. So good.